Now you're probably looking at my project title and thinking, Julia, what's so interesting about dose administration aids? Isn't it a bit dry and boring to be looking at the blister packs and sachets that are commonly used in medicine administration at aged care facilities? Well, I need you to take a moment to think. The Australian population is ageing. Those over 85 are expected to more than quadruple over the next 40 years. Populations in aged care facilities are increasing, and this is probably because of the ageing population. So it's likely that every one of you knows at least one person who's living in an aged care facility. So we really need to take great interest in looking at the efficiency, effectiveness and accuracy of medicine administration at these facilities. Now, pharmacists commonly prepare medicines into dose administration aids, or DAAs, to assist in medicine administration. And two studies have looked at error rates associated with these. In Queensland and New South Wales, we found error rates of around 3 to 4 per cent. Now you might say, Julia, 3 to 4 per cent, we can handle that error rate. But around two years ago, a pilot study in Victoria found an error rate of around 11 per cent. Now that's alarming. That makes my research just that little bit more interesting and perhaps a bit more relevant in today's day and age. So I wanted to conduct my own large scale study involving 49 aged care facilities in rural and regional Victoria and inner and outer metropolitan Melbourne. I conducted DAA audits where I compared a blister pack or sachet to the medicine record to determine their accuracy and appropriateness of packing. So I've included some photos of some of the errors along the top of the slide, so things like damaged tablets, poorly halved tablets, foil on tablets, and I've included two case studies, one on the left and one on the right, and you can see the error rates I was finding was around 11% and 13.8% at these facilities. Now again, you might say, Julia, hang on a second, registered nurses work at aged care facilities. They'll pick up these errors before they get to the resident. But I have to let you know, around 60% of the residential aged care workforce are carers. They're not nurses, they're not medicines experts, and they're not required by law to identify medicines before they hand them out. So that means pharmacy really can't afford to be making any errors in these DAAs, because they're potentially the last person to check that pack before your elderly relative takes the medicines from within. So I'm going to now consolidate my findings and develop a quality improvement toolkit to implement at aged care facilities and pharmacies to try and reduce the likelihood of these types of errors occurring. I'll then evaluate the effectiveness of the toolkit with a follow-up dose administration aid audit. Now we don't live in a perfect world and people make mistakes, but I'd like to think with my research and quality improvement toolkit, I can make it just that little bit more likely that your elderly relative is getting the medicines they should be while they're relying completely and totally on someone else to manage their medicines and their health. Thank you.